For all your NRG innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D R I V E N R G dot com. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and the day has come for Forza Horizon 4 to hit the channel. I did not post anything earlier because I was trying to get through the game a little bit so that it wasn't repetitive from the demo. So we are here sitting on our VIP lake house, staring at that 118 Rain-X S14 of Alaconadale, chilling there by the water. We're going to be ripping this thing today, but I wanted to today to get a little bit into the wheel settings I have on my G920, things I found out about it, as well as do some of my super wheel spins that we got saved up. I think we have 9 plus, maybe 11 or 12 different super wheel spins. Looks like there's a Porsche ripping out of the uh, uh, his lake house, too. Um, so we are going to get into this a little bit and look into the wheel settings as well as do our super wheel spins and probably hit up the first showcase event We've got Subaru leaving there too who you at what do you got going on there what's your plate say zero nice Subaru just cruising out of the out of the lake house there so like I said we're gonna get into the wheel settings but first we're gonna get into our super wheel spins and then uh, rip this car around we do have actually two wheel spins and I feel like we and we got nine plus super wheel spins so we're gonna get into the wheel spins before we get into our settings and rip this car around and do the first showcase so First wheel spin on the docket. Hopefully we get something interesting, maybe. I'm getting a lot of uh, kind of crappy wheel spins recently. Uh, uh, Legacy RS 1990. All right, we will take it anyways, because it's free. We'll do another wheel spin. Super wheel spins are the ones that I'm very super excited to get into. And we got some yellow trainers. Okay. Well, nothing super exciting there. Now, there is the... Uh, skill bonuses that we could add to the car mastery where we can get some other skills we do have like the lucky hit on this El Conadale car which is interesting because it's per car now so getting all those skill points is definitely going to help so we're going to go into our super wheel spins looks like we have 14 of them to do uh, these super wheel spins are pretty awesome because you get a chance to win three different things so it's pretty sweet we got some uh we got the Hoonigan Escort. All right, I will take that for a super wheel spin. Taking the Hoonigan Escort and some uh, canvas shoes. And then now Camino, I will definitely take that. Spin it again. We got 13 to go. I'm looking for the big money, though. Looking for the big money. We're probably not going to get it. Halo themed horn, Audi TTS, and 190 grand. Um, I'll take all of that. Halo themed horn is pretty sweet, but definitely a Halo junkie. So what do we got on our next wheel spin? Cowbell, Nova, and some uh, blue leopard trainers. Oh, I wanted that credits bonus alpha right up there, but we just shy of it. So like I said, these super wheel spins are sweet, so I figured we get into some wheel spins, some wheel settings. You know, a little bit of a wheel wheel. Ooh, what did we get there? Clio Clean Skill Boost, FE Edition. All right, so we got a Forza Edition car. We got some biker boots going home horn. So, so far we've pulled two good cars in our wheel spins. Definitely going to take a look at that Clio and that Hoonigan Escort. Why did I go back? Wrong button. The Hoonigan Escort. We just got an achievement, I guess. Special Edition. Get your first Forza Edition car. Windows XP shut down. Quick draw and the LR Series 3. So we did get an achievement for getting our first FE car. So that's pretty sweet. First FE car of the game. This is going to be that Clio. What do we got now? It's a gray Lamborghini Yaris and a 4 GT17. So these super wheel spins are definitely being very profitable right now. Definitely enjoying getting these cars. These were free from my uh, other games that I've played. So we did get a VW bus. I want to slam one of those. And... Uh, definitely make a sweet boss maybe do a drift boss not sure on that one yet so we're trying to get these wheel spins done we got a bmw m1 and then a bead collection which we are not gonna wear on our character because that would just be weird bmw m1 sweet infinity q50 getting a lot of cars a lot of things that are increasing our 
bonuses and stuff. I'm still looking for those big money, big money, 300,000 boards. Um, so pink diamond polo and a white and jazz hands. I feel like those are all something you would wear and do at the same time. I don't think I'm going to personally wear those, but you know, huh. So what do we got? We got four more spins after this. We got a Ford Capri Mark 1 Bing Bong and some pink jogging pants, some pink yoga pants. Uh, I feel like I'm not going to wear pink yoga pants, but you know, you never know. Ugh, probably not ever. So next spin we got, we got some uh, female flats, white top hat, and the flossy emote. I know a lot of people who are going to be doing that and having that that clean skill boost Bentley up there, though. Oh, man. Wish I could have gotten that. So we got three spins remaining this one and two more. Let's see how we do. We got a tank top, floral, and we got some yellow biker pants. I kind of wanted that CJ5, though, but oh well. So two more wheel spins here before we get into the wheel settings real quick. So we got a Viper. A red bomber jacket and fifth symphony horn so definitely gonna probably equip the halo theme horn just because final wheel spin for the super wheel spin I wanted that M2 oh my gosh you jerks I probably could have bought it I can probably buy an M2 maybe I don't know I actually haven't looked if you can get an M2 but the M2 was there we missed it we got leopard boots we got the galaxy blazer now that's pretty sweet I may rock the galaxy blazer uh, and the wave emote so we're going to collect all our prizes. So uh, I think we're going to go and change up our horn if we can here. No, no. Creative Hub, no. Apparently I have to go into the house to do that. I think we have to go actually into our house to do that. So we are going to back the car up a little bit. We don't have the wheel come on yet because uh, I will get to the wheel cam here in a second once we go through our settings. But we're going to get into our house here. Whoa. You've qualified for Horizon winter season. Conditions and competition will be fierce. Woolly seat covers and hot water Drive the festival transition to the next season. Um, I don't want to do that yet. So we're actually probably not going to unless we're forced to, which would totally so. make this episode totally not what I wanted to do. But, you know, we'll play it how it goes. I don't really want to go to winter season yet. But I believe the showcase won't be in winter season. So, definitely will be a good thing. So we're going to go, yeah, we're going to change our car horn. And musical horn, it's just symphony halo theme, there it is. That's not what I thought, but we will take it. So, getting into the wheel settings on the car. I was a little bit off my mic. Oh, it's changing seasons. Really? Great. Why did I don't alright. Well I guess we're changing seasons to winter here. Hey Andrew. Welcome to the winter season. I'm putting together our winter showcase. If you can think of a driver with a little bit of experience, a lot of influence, and a train to catch, be sure to let me know, yeah? I mean, okay. I feel like I can do that still do that upper um that upper showcase event like I wanted to. So we are just going to... Oh, this is going to be crazy because it's all winter now. All right. So. I feel like it's going to be very weird now. Because uh, it is winter. I need to get off this dirt and see if that's why my wheel is tripping out. I got to get off these radio stations. So, so we're going to get into the pavement there. My wheel is turning on me. Oh, man. Yeah, this is definitely going to be not fun by any means. So we're going to go take a look at the wheel settings of what I got going on on my G920. So for my G920 and my controller settings, this is what we got going on. We, have, we left everything pretty much standard. We did turn down vibration scale all the way to zero because I did notice that caused clipping. When driving, it caused like some chattering in the wheel, and I didn't like it. And it would sometimes uncalibrate my wheel, 
we left force feedback, we left the centering spring, we did lower wheel dampening down to 60. Um, that helps it spin back and forth easier, almost like a self-steer like in Forza 7. So I did find that to come out helping. We did turn down force back under steer so that the front tires do lose some grip. When you're sliding, it doesn't, the wheel doesn't get super hard or stiff. I mean, it just because it's kind of an arcade sim, sim racing game, that's why I did it that way. And then minimum force feedback, we turned down to 40. I did turn my wheel rotation down to 870 so that when I go full lock, it's not hitting the physical lock point of my G920 because I don't want to, you know, to prevent less wear and tear. Like, like I said, we are on our G920 with our energy innovations wheel energy innovations hydraulic handbrake sequential shifter mod that i have built up um so that's what i'm running on wheel settings we're going to rip it a little bit it's going to be pretty crazy because i haven't driven one of these uh drift cars in the snow so we're going to go try and drive these in the snow real quick i gotta switch my wires real quick so my handbrake's working there we go we're good and uh I guess we're going to set ourselves to that first showcase that I wanted to do for this episode. So I really hope this isn't in the rain or in the snow now, because that would definitely make this uh, showcase more interesting. Safe to do so. so we're going to rip our car around here. Oh yeah, this is definitely different because this thing is not on snow tires. So we're going to just... Uh, Probably send this a little bit here. Oh boy. Yeah. So, this winter is definitely different. Have not been on a winter yet. So, this is uh, new driving for me. Clutch kick it in. Try and slide this a little bit. But see, the wheel does have a good feel with the settings I have. It does still have somewhat of the. Uh, the self steer like Forza Motorsport 7. Not so much on uh, snow, I'm noticing. It's a little bit slippery on the snow. I, w I should have probably ripped this before I did all the wheel spins and uh, Turn left. gotten into the snow season. Oh gosh, because we're just all over the place in the snow. Definitely not used to this snow at all. But we are Turn getting some left. slides in this Alex Honnadale car. Now I feel like we're going to be on snow-covered dirt. So, definitely the wrong choice of car for uh, this uh, snowy adventure to our showcase. But the game threw a curveball at me and switched it to switch it to winter season. So we are driving a car with no front windows and uh, a lot of power. And it's just not going to be the best choice for this. So we're going to try and get our way to the showcase. But as you can see, the wheel does still feel pretty good in the snow. The uh, the counter steering is kind of self steer. You still have to help it a little bit. But that just could be a characteristic of the snow. Because I noticed when I was driving on pavement, it wasn't as bad. So we're just trying to make our way to this showcase event up this snowy mountainside in a drift car. Probably not the best decision I've made, but uh, you know, we're gonna do it. I hear a train, but I feel like this is not a train showcase. This is the uh, looks like a, a boat showcase, but we're still uh, still getting some slides up this mountain though. Don't fall off the mountain, just get wrecked, find my way all the way up here, and then uh, you know, fall down the edge of it. So I did like Blizzard Mountain, <clears throat> excuse me, I did like Blizzard Mountain, so I did like drifting in the snow, now I probably should be on a car that probably has snow tires, because you could probably put snow tires in regular cars, so I'm hoping when we get to the showcase that we get a chance to be in a different car, like all the other Horizons with the showcases, you drive whatever car they give you, because if I have to race this car in the snow, this is not gonna turn out well at all. Cause this thing just blows the tires off right now in the snow. So we're heading to the first showcase. Full nine, well, full 900, 870 you degrees of rotation. Destination. Top into the showcase. We're gonna do this in solo. 
could do a co-op, but I uh, don't know if a couple of my friends are on. Otherwise, we'd do a co-op. That's pretty sweet. You could do co-op um, showcases. And yes, we will be in a truck. Thank God. My guy doing a little two-step back there. Little Toyota, Borla, Sparko on the side, Bill Steen, TRD, Trick, Bosch, BF Goodrich, Ultra Alloy, Ultra Custom Wheels or Ultra Alloy Wheels. So, first showcase event, rocking my custom uh, custom T that I got with my pre-order through GameStop, and that is a very big hover transport. Okay, so first showcase event. Behemoth showcase. Hopefully we can uh Hey Andrew. I know it feels like you're just getting started, but this showcase is as good an opportunity as you'll get to have some fans screaming your name. Alright, let's do it. Let's go. Logic G920, Forza Horizon 4, first showcase, dirt, wheel settings that we've just chosen so far have been decent, so let's see how they do now. Wow, that thing is getting that dude's getting sideways right now. We're gonna make sure we hit all our checkpoints. Oh my god! I'm scared of heights. That was definitely a huge jump. So we gotta try and get back on the road. There we go. We gotta try and make sure we stay on the road with this thing. So the wheel feels pretty good on the off-road section because. I did tune the settings that I had on pavement and didn't really get a chance to race off-road so the wheel does feel good on the off-road. Jeez, uh, I'm so glad. Could you imagine if we were in you know, the drift car trying to do this? We would probably already be dead. <laughs> I feel like this truck shouldn't be able to do these jumps either. But uh... Man, that guy's gonna that guy's gonna kill me one of these times. He's gonna hit me. Oh man. A little brake check there so I don't get hit. There we go. A little slide around that, a little counter steer, we're good. So wheels feel good, Jesus man. I feel like this guy's gonna hit me. So if you guys are enjoying Forza Horizon 4, if you did get it on the early Ultimate Edition release. Let me know in the comment section down below. Definitely going to be wanting to do some uh, co-op events, some live sessions. I don't want to hit that guy. I feel like that would hurt. As well as some drifting events. So definitely going to be a lot of Forza Horizon 4 here on the channel. As well as think about bringing a game of Drift back. And uh, what better game to bring it back to than on a Horizon game. Since we did it in Horizon 3 with the team. A lot of my team does have... Horizon 4, so we will be doing some uh, Game of Drifts here in Horizon 4 with the team as well as subscribers. Excuse me, man. I'm trying to pass him. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my god, he pinched me into the wall. <laughs> I think I took first, though. Nice. I did take Four first. Four wheels beats two fans and a big air mattress any day of the week. Barely. The I dude was you for a second. pinching me into the wall. I bet you if I would have been on the right side, I would have been pinched to the wall. But we got pinched, but we took the win. So what better way to take the win on that one than a very epic finish. So if you guys enjoyed this episode here on Forza Horizon 4, make sure you tap that like button. Subscribe if you are not a subscriber. I do appreciate all the support. Uh, big thank you to all the comments and everything on the Torque Drift Beta series. And we'll be running some more Torque Drift Beta videos as well. So, Forza Horizon 4, guys. Definitely a super amazing game. Can't wait to continue playing this game. Going to be doing Let's Plays, Drift Lobbies, Drift Sessions, and stuff like that. So, these are my wheel settings that I've been using. Um, if I tweak them or fine-tune them later on, I will make another video about it. Give it a try if you have a G920. Um, I'm finding the settings to be very good. Maybe... I do have a larger rim, so um, the settings may be a little bit different for a smaller wheel, but um, that's what I'm rocking. So until next time, guys, you know, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, and I always appreciate you guys' support and coming back watching these videos. So until next time, I'm your Rabbit. I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.